In 2001, model and Playboy playmate Anna Nicole Smith was in a Houston probate court battling the family of her late husband, J. Howard Marshall, an 89-year-old billionaire she'd married when she was 26. But this was Texas, and they don't really cotton the 26-year-olds marrying very, very wealthy 89-year-olds, and then the, the old man dies 14 months later. She was in a position to walk away with tens of millions, perhaps hundreds of millions of dollars. She was asking for half a gazillion, but they still had 40 gazillion left. What's the big deal? At issue was Marshall's estimated $1.6 billion estate. Smith claimed he'd promised her half. But Marshall's son, E. Pierce Marshall, contended that Anna Nicole wasn't in the will and that her intentions were obvious. Of course, there were offspring there who thought that perhaps she married him just for his money. And maybe she did, but certainly he enjoyed it. She does this whole little stick for the camera. And that night he died on me, and it was Pierce. Pierce is the one who made the orders to not do anything. Anna played the part of grieving widow to perfection, but Marshall family attorney Rusty Harden wasn't buying it. Have you been taking new acting lessons? <laughs> That's when Anna Nicole let Rusty have it. You Rusty. You Rusty. Screw you. Screw you. <laughs> I think the average person, if you push them and you push them and you push them, they're going to scream out, screw you. You know, you kind of hate to go down in history as a guy when you're walking down the street, people say, S you, Rusty. You, Rusty. Turns out the only one getting screwed was Anna Nicole. She lost the case. But Smith got the last laugh. She appealed her case before the U.S. Supreme Court and won.